They gave up 365 passing yards to Jarrett Stidham in his first career start. And um, all told, they allowed, what, 500? We'll take a lot of yards. Even. We'll take a lot of yards. <laughs> 500 even. A 500 burger. Um, you doesn't get, matter. Yeah, I mean, I, the quarterback played well. Like, all seriousness, no hating on the Raiders. The quarterback looked pretty good. It was if if you're him and they showed his wife seventy five times. I mean, holy and her friends were very happy to be in the suite. They're good looking people, but I mean, we I, we got a little much of them. Yeah. Had a good day, not so much it, in the second half. It was an exciting day for the young man, but yeah, I, listen. My whole take on the Niners defense is you're allowed an off day throughout the season. They were pretty terrible today. It looked like, as most people were joking, did they go out last night on the strip? Uh. The Bosa, did you notice him slipping a couple times when he was trying to do moves? He tried to do like a 360 move one time and slipped. Saw him slip another time. Robbie, go check the turf after his mess. Yes. <laughs> no, Robbie, that was you. And Bosa uh, had a big Bosa had the play of the game at the end. No, he did. He made, but I'm saying early in the game, they, they weren't really getting pressure. He just felt like there were some openings over the middle of the field, their corners, just a split. I mean, that touchdown at the end of the first half. Ward right there. He's made that play all season long, and Devontae gets basically three feet in. They had some open guys. Lenore was right there on the big Devontae play at the end of the game. I don't know, you know. I mean, Waller, I think they got lucky. He got targeted five times. You could have targeted him more. The Niners, that was a tough matchup for them, right, when you factor in his height and his speed, because their safeties don't really run. Luckily, like, you look at the the NFC, like, it's not going to be a crazy matchup. Honestly, the you could argue the Raiders match up pretty well against the Niners. They have – I had a buddy in the league tell me he thinks Josh Jacob, when he just watches film when he's been on, on the field this year, you could make an argument he's been the best running back in the league. Wow. Just physicality and just how big of a load he is. He's fucking good, you know? So they have a star running back who runs like a like it's Earl Campbell, 1978. They have a top two or three wide receiver. When he's on, you could argue he's the best receiver in the league. Waller, who's mailed it in since he got paid two years ago, felt like he's like showed up today, missing Derek. You watch his comments when Derek got benched, a little weird. Maybe like they're not buddies. That's a a good tight end. It's just going to be a tough matchup for their safeties. They just matched up well. Now the cor- quarterback was smooth and played well, but those guys came to play. I, I do think like if you just told me like you could give Waller and Devontae to the Packers and that's the Niners 2-7, I'd be like, oh, fuck, right? Devontae is the last player I think the Niners would want to see on any team in the postseason. I agree. They can't stop him. He's eviscerated them for years now. Even when his team was kind of gutless, he showed up to play. How he got open on that first touchdown. You remember? Where Stidham rolls left, rolls left, rolls left. Hufunga breaks. Devontae just kind of drifts back, drifts back, and then it just just breaks free. He's just all alone. Um, that's every time I'd see him, every time I'd see them putting him in the slot, I'm like, I don't, I, I especially wouldn't late. have a safety on him. Like, late hey, guys. they had him in the spot, and it was, I think, a linebacker standing over him. Yeah, I would switch up the linebacker, put him out on the receiver, and get a corner on this guy. Like Aiden Hutchinson today, did you see that play? Sweet pick. <laughs> they were they dropped eleven, I think, on the play. I look up at first, and I saw on Twitter. Justin Fields destroying the Lions up 10-3. And then I look back up. They're down like 31-10. to 10. What the hell happened? I don't watch any of that game. They won um, like 38-10. to 10. Uh, I mean, I, I think some of the things you saw today, I think there was nobody that I circled on the Niners defense and thought, oh, that guy had an uncharacteristically bad game. I thought the Raiders – did the things that you're always kind of afraid could hurt the 49ers, right? Like a number one receiver on Lenore or Charvarius, who who's had a great year. I mean, Ward's been fantastic for them. Charver- Mooney has been really good for them. Um, the middle of the field sometimes can you worry can be a little open for the Niners based on their safeties. It's just, you know, I, 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 I don't know that anything happened today that, like they got to figure out a way to fix it before their next game or before the postseason. I didn't feel that way. They did not get home. I, you know, I thought they actually got a fair amount of. I'd have to check. I, I didn't think they got no pressure on Stidham. They just never landed the sack on him. He made the one play where he avoided two sacks and got it out to Hollins for a first down. Yeah, remember that? That was a pretty sweet play. Yeah, I'm with you. 
even when Lenore got beat, he is right there. I mean, there were plays last year, remember, when guys weren't even in the vicinity. I can live with a guy getting given up a touch or a touchdown or a catch with him being there. It's a hard the, place to make. The irony of of it all is that they had, you know, they've got Armstead and Kinlaw back together. Armstead made the big play on the fourth down, you know, the fourth and goal where they got stuffed. Armstead made a huge play early in the game. Yeah, he's been big. Greenlaw. Did Greenlaw come back? Yeah, he got the Charlie horse of all time when when uh, Fred Warner need him right in his thigh. Probably did not feel good. Whole leg back too, right? It's probably the yeah. Knee. Or I guess it was his knee. Yeah, it probably hurt. The the collision there. I think we underrate like when a guy just hey guys, I just need like two minutes to just take in all this pain and lay here, and then he gets up and jogs off. Can you imagine the feel of the collision of Fred Warner running full speed, even if nothing's broken or anything? Just the when you hear these guys like I feel it the next day, imagine just waking up the next day. Like nothing's broken, nothing's it's just b- the bruise of pain for everybody. I can't even imagine what offensive and defensive linemen feel like on Monday morning in the NFL. I, I can't even fathom. Just the forget about the the just the little scratches to your body constantly. Oh, McCaffrey didn't bleed today from what I can tell. So but there was... were a couple plays today like even Stidham when when Bosa got him pretty cleanly and fucking destroyed him into the ground, can you imagine the pain that felt? Just getting drilled into the ground? There were a couple plays where if it had been like Tom Brady that had taken that hit, he would have been complaining about... What do you well, think about pick- of my belief that top 10 quarterbacks should be officiated, new rules, anyone outside of top 10-ish, I don't exactly know where to... 90s rules. League puts out a list every week. Stidham like wakes up like shit. Oh, like is Stidham on the list next week? He'd be automatic. Yeah, I mean he, he couldn't play his way in. If you're a rookie, can't play your way in. Even you get on if you throw three sixty five the week before. Yeah, maybe there's a way to get out a win and three hundred plus yards. What do they do with Purdy? Is there like an independent committee? It's like, ah, yeah, well, fellas, is Purdy on? I'd be, I'd be Shanahan cool with. Makes the case. I'd be good with rookies. You, you have to. Fight your way out. Year one, you're on it. No matter I could, what. I could argue it's partly dependent on who your backup is, like the drop off from you to the backup. Like how bad if we've got you on Sunday night football next week, if your backup has to start for you, how bad is that for Sunday night football's ratings? You know what I mean? Yeah. And like by that argument, like that's the standard. Like if you're in a if you are and you'd be like, well, Purdy, major drop off. He should be a fit. We got to protect Purdy. They're on Sunday night football next week. You know? And I think you could fall off. Like Tom, you're not grandfathered in. It's on. Tom, nah. I think, did not get a call. Tom, Tom got flagged for spiking the football. It was a pretty weak. He was like on the ground and just kind of threw the ball straight down. Got flagged for a delay a game today. He was not happy about it. He had some pretty sweet bombs today to Mike. The, the point is that Stidham got crushed a few times today. Crushed. <laughs> crushed. Destroyed. And I, I thought the Niners tackled pretty well. Jacobs had a couple runs, and at the end of the day, he was over four yards of carry. But I thought they tackled pretty well when they, when it mattered. You know who it felt one guy was like, I'm tired of getting fucking shredded in the run game in the second half was Jimmy Ward and started flying around there and making some plays in the line of scrimmage. A couple times in the second half, Jimmy Ward made some really good tackles up near the line of scrimmage. Because early on, guy, I thought they were getting gashed. Not just by Josh Jacobs, but when the backup came in. Like, there were just holes. You're not used to seeing, like, second-level holes where a guy can hit the first hole and then, like, cut left and get... And again, this is back to Jacobs. How often do the Niners get taken for a ride with the running back? Not often. He had that nine yard that carry that looked like it should have been six, ended up at like nine. He's a beast. First play overtime. Josh, uh, Jake on the stream says Josh Norman got torched today. Yeah, welcome to club, <laughs> Carolina. In fairness to them, like I think Horn, you know, the guy they drafted last year got hurt. Like they they don't want to sign him. I mean, they didn't have a choice. What's he been doing? Doing his little foot drills, probably at home. Remember, remember going to practice and like Josh Norman do his little foot drills? It's like, Josh, just stretch and go play. I mean, his foot drills not making a difference here, buddy. 